What is up guys, RYTI here and I'm going to be showing you how to make gameplay commentaries on a Mac, okay? If you guys were have watched any of my recent commentaries, you know that I've actually made the recent switch to Mac and I'm just going to be showing you how I do my commentaries and how you guys can make your commentaries if you're struggling, okay? Now, this is maybe split up in a few parts and this episode I'm going to go over how we capture the footage, the audio, how you get your voice audio. Um, so yeah, providing you have a HD, HD PVR, okay, this is what we're going to be using to like set it up, okay. And I'm not actually going to do a set video that has HD PVR set up because obviously there's millions of them out there. I will provide a link for a decent one though somewhere on the screen. But this software, okay, it's called ITV, ITV and it's, I'm using version 3, it's right there. And it really is, I would say, a brilliant bit of kit, okay? Uh, the one you get with Windows, it's decent. It's like the, like, come free sort of kit. Uh, it's decent, but this is great, okay? So, you're going to have to install this. Again, I'll leave a link where to be installed and whatnot. Really, really good bit of uh, kit. It isn't free, I'm afraid, but there are ways if you catch my drift, okay? So... What you want to do, you want to plug your PVR in and going through the installation process it will ask you what recording device you have. If you obviously have the HPVR, you choose HPVR. Now a quick tip, if you're going to ITV up on the top menu here and down to preferences, if you go on to custom, it will normally be, it'll be on like good or whatever. I'm just going to have to reset itself now. Thank you PVR for that one. And you want to go custom, okay? Custom, edit, and make sure the average bit rate is above 10. You can do it 12. Don't go overly crazy. Just do it to about 11, 12, okay? Whatever suits best. The reason being, um, if it's low, the PVR won't be sending enough megabits per second, and you'll get l laggy, choppy gameplay. In like on this, this is just like a, like a. Uh, like a still frame this screen at the moment I can move my controller around it would be like a few seconds like delay but it records really nice and you want them like high uh, what do you call it megabytes and whatnot for the pure reason being you don't want it to be laggy in Modern Warfare 3 or Skyrim if you're playing if you're fighting a dragon you do not you do not want it to be chopping and changing you want nice smooth gameplay okay and the, the great thing about this is my PVR is just like on the fritz now because I changed the settings but basically um, this is not recorded okay this is just w like how long I've had ITV up okay I've been running this for five and a half minutes now say I go into a game of Modern Warfare 3 and it starts at three two and two minutes okay I play and I realize it's really good I can then go back to that point click the record button and then record and it is brilliant for playing like Skyrim and whatnot because Modern Warfare 3 you have the vault and whatnot but Skyrim them sort of games it is really good for because obviously you don't be recording constantly because it just takes up so much room so let's just give it a go um, let's record from here okay I just f tap record recording starting from that point where I, I like selected give it a few seconds unclick record and recording stops okay it will then put it in here okay this is your ITV3 like video menu to get this up from here you just click this button the top like right hand button but it normally does always open up by itself now if you want to get that live recording yeah you go up here and you go export okay now I have chosen 1080p as my export because I want it in the highest quality uh, quality possible so if you just go save it will export it and this is only like three seconds of worth of clips so it'll be absolutely tiny and don't know why it's showing up as a big size it shouldn't be that but the sizes aren't too bad to be honest they normally keep them pretty decent and it's encoding it so it's, yeah it will export it and I've just chosen to my desktop and as you can see it has done it right here which is perfect that's that is our footage recorded okay now if you're in like uh, Modern Warfare 3 for example you want to go to your vault 
load up your game, click play and record from the beginning of the game, okay? That is what you want to do. Now I'm just going to close that. And obviously you want to like do a commentary to it, don't you? You guys want to do a commentary? So you're going to need decent commentary software. Now what I use is Audacity. Now I'm not sure why it's opened that up for some reason. That is probably just my Mac being devilish and witty and trying to get a, like a little spot in the video. I'm not doing it guys, I'm not letting it have it. I use Audacity just from the pure reason is I've been using it about a year now. Um, and yeah, I just know how to use it. Now, Audacity is a bit of software that you use to record your voice. Now, if you have a microphone, you want to go into Preferences, okay? And you want to make sure that your devices are like, I'm using a HP mic at the moment. You want to make sure that it sets to HP and also built-in device HP, okay? Because you want to obviously capture it from your mic and not the built-in one. Now, there's been so many occasions when I've done a commentary and like used my built-in mic because I haven't changed preferences. A lot of the time when you plug it in, it will do it automatically, but there are certain occasions where it just won't. So make sure you double-check that it is your default setting. Now, you literally just press record. It will go blah, 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 blah. I'll talk, okay? and then you can from here if you want to chop it and change it you can cut it this tool you can like press s and oh was it delete backspace to delete command z to uh undo sorry but to be honest you should your commentary when you speak you know you're going to make mistakes when you talk so it's not really a big deal now from here you just want to export it you've got export mp3 files now to I always use MP3 because I believe it's one of the best qualities. There probably is a better quality here, which I don't know about, but I'm familiar with MP3, so I should do it. Save it as commentary chess. Probably spelled that wrong. I probably have actually, because I've just typed really fast. Okay, and there's a thing. Now, Audacity doesn't come with an MP3 built in. You're going to have to go to the Audacity website, Audacity, and it'll be. Just type in MP3 plugin, Mac, pretty simple, and it'll be in frequently asked questions, and it'll say, you go down to here, you'll install it, it literally just run the exe file, and next time you go to, it'll say export as MP3, it'll say, where do you want me to locate it, click OK, and it'll do it. It really is very simple, guys, and there are tutorials out there, I'll leave another link for that. But that is capturing the footage, guys. We have our audio here our gameplay here obviously this would be your like your full 10 minute gameplay or how long it is this would be your obviously matching 10 minute commentary and next episode i'm going to show you how to edit it okay episode after that i'm going to show you render settings and whatnot but that is it guys um i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope it's been an insight on how to do things and that is about it. I can't really say much more apart from see you next episode.